in the search bar type in random. The first hit you're likely to get is random.org, true random number service. Select that. Read this, read these two paragraphs. It's pretty interesting. Then just take a look at various things on here. You can there's all kinds of different random selections you can do. It has a dice roller. This is interesting. Coin flipper. Try it out. You can select any type of coin that you want and it'll actually show flipping it. So here I'm going down to a Swedish one krona and I can tell it to flip four of those. Flip coin. It actually shows the coin. It's pretty cool. Try a couple different ones. One thing you're going to have to do today is select random, random numbers from a particular list. So what you can do is go numbers, integer sets. So um, we want to pick one set with five unique random numbers each. 1 through, say, 26. And then get sets. This has picked five unique random numbers. What that means is without replacement. You won't have any of the same numbers here. So the numbers we selected were 3, 4, 17, 20, 26. You will have to do something like this for your activity today. And I'm also going to show you how to use your calculator. From home screen, hit the calculator icon on the left, scratch pad calculator, you'll select menu, then probability, then number four, random. You should first start by getting a seed. A seed is a starting number. If you don't do this, um, the random sets that you generate might be the same as your table partner. This is referring to the couple of paragraphs that you saw on the random org site. Our calculator uses a pseudo random number generator, so you have to give it a seed unless you want the random numbers to be the same as your partner. So I, you can put in any, any number here. I'm going to just put in almost my phone number. You could put a one digit number, it doesn't matter, just any number here. Then after you've seeded the random number generator, you can go menu again probability, random, and then integer. An integer is a positive or negative whole number. You tell it the range you want to pick, 1 through, say, number 20, and you tell it how many numbers, 5. Now, one disadvantage to this one is it may give you some repeats. And so here, here 5 was listed twice. You could just only do 5 once, all right? You could hit enter and it'll generate another set. You might do this until you get five unique numbers. So um, that's how you use your calculator to generate random numbers.